You can call me Ray, and you can call me Jay, but you doesn't have to call my competitors. You just call me at United TV and get my Ray J deal today. Rent with an option to buy remote control, cable-ready VCR with color TV for only $19.95 a week. Both for only $19.95 a week. Here are a couple portable TVs that a friend who runs a tow impound yard found in the uh, in a vehicle that they impounded and then ended up lean sailing and sending it to the scrap yard he knows I like old TVs and electronics so he called me and said hey I got a couple here do you want them and I said well how big are they I said, oh they're a little things you carry around in one hand and uh, I said sure bring them by we'll play with them make a video on them this is a very interesting one here this is this is just kind of your generic uh, Samsung black and white and um, this one is kind of interesting this is a GE color television with stereo sound and this thing has a AM FM radio in it I wonder if I guess it maybe it is stereo it does have a multiplex decoder in it of course the volume switch is missing and it has an auxiliary input and it's got a cassette deck in it and this this appears to be J oh there we go okay what do we have here Kenny Wayne Shepherd that sounds like it would probably be copyright material I notice it's uh, it's kind of lopsided there, and uh, it ain't it ain't quite right. And something's broken, but hey, let's try it out. Now the GE is missing the speakers, and I think that the speakers would hang on, maybe on here or something, and it's got, I guess this is a speaker output, and the antenna's broken off, of course. And uh, that right there is a very unfortunate manufacturing defect already. Ninety-two. So we got an auxiliary input here, and we've got a auxiliary video input here, and a switch there for I guess different tuner modes, and an antenna input, seventy-five ohm. Take a look at the back of the Samsung. Me and my Samsung reading your toilet mites. 1984. Look at this right here. This thing will run on 12 volts. That's kind of cool. Could use that one to watch 
VHS porn in the car, I guess. I'm actually kind of interested in having a look at the inside of this 12 volt Samsung because most of these that I had ever worked on, these transistorized um, black and whites, these old, you know, cheapy dime store black and whites, they would just rectify the B plus and run you know 130 volts or whatever on the horizontal output transistor collector and that's you know they didn't use power transformers and so I'm kinda interested in having a look at how they've done that inside this one now the one exception to that were the Sony TVs they always use 12 volts or around that and power transformers but most of these cheapos didn't now this this uses a power transformer it's got a neat little VHF tuner there and a little UHF tuner Look at, the little, look at the cute little yoke. Cute little tiny flyback. The filter capacitor is almost as big. Guess this, this is your horizontal output transistor and your driver transformer between the uh, driver and the horizontal uh, output. Whenever this is probably voltage regulation here. Probably regulates the output of this transformer down to uh, holds it at 12 volts. This is kind of a unique little TV. Alright, I know everyone's dying to hear this cassette deck with uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd in it, so let's, uh, let's see what that sounds like. Alright, here are a couple overkill speakers that came out of something I EOL'd. Uh, let's see, how do you turn this operation on over here? Maybe if I plug the right set in, it might work. I had the Samsung plugged in. Here we go. No, 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 let's do. All right, how do you operate this? Operate such a an elite device. Okay, that's auxiliary. Okay, TV. Oh, there we go. Tanker is being forwarded off the coast of Africa. Right now, terrible. He's still used it. Sir, come say as he is. Hold on. Third world. Found me. 
feet. Toyota dealers today. Limited term. Song number four. Pretty sure we got the top three biggest songs in the land to get to before we're done. And I do know for sure that our friend Ellie Golding will come back. Must be the Mensa radio station. Our beautiful, I love that track. It's called Samba Blue from Michael Franks. And Boulevard, it's simply amazing. When you walk in the door, you'll immediately notice that Mir is something special. Or give Isaac a call and see what he can do for you. 310-234-4010. you will. We have a lot of stuff coming up. Where are we in the real estate cycle for minutes? Ray, Ray was talking just a moment. Thank you, this American. We'll install a new one for free, including labor. That's crazy talk, Jose. Maybe crazy, but it's true. I'm Mike Diamond, and I guarantee my plumbers will show up on time and smell good. Or your water heater house call is free. Have a smell good plumber die. Time tonight on this. And callers will show such a Good all right, here we go. Is the rubber band broken? Holy crap. I miss cassettes. I miss all this hiss. I miss the wow and flutter. Now listen to this. And that's with the damn thing not even playing. No? Did I break it? Well, listen to that. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. Actually sounds okay. Probably needs the heads clean too. I think we could handle that right now. Get a little alcohol and a paper towel. Even better, I got some uh, Get some lacquer thinner right here. That'll probably melt that plastic record head there, that erase head. So do we want to do a little course here on how to clean your heads in your cassette player? You take your alcohol here, you put a little bit of this on a paper towel. This is how I do it. You can use a Q-tip. Hey, this is some Chinese made GE thing, right? Put it in play so that the head's up, you know, pushed up and then just kind of scrub it off.
and I don't it's not that dirty actually and then clean the little erase head off and then the tough one to do is the little cap stand motor and the little pinch roller and this is usually where all the the uh, tape crap gets this is and this thing is not very dirty at all look at that moving parts isn't that cool not something you see anymore in your mp3 player there's a little dirt there I wouldn't imagine this has very much use on it might have to go dig through my cassettes and see what kind of uh, stuff we got Hey, this thing is actually kind of cool in, in a bizarre kind of retro, retro, not vintage. That, there's the key word right there. It's retro. It's not vintage. Retro is more of slightly old chinese -y, early Chinese or Taiwanese junk. Vintage is American-made quality. So in kind of a, a, a sick retro way, this thing is kind of cool. Okay, so for all you youngsters who are looking at this thing and saying, what is this prehistoric mechanical operation that you have here that's, uh, that's playing these plastic boxes and music is coming out of them, these are called compact cassettes. And they were before CDs. They were kind of between 8-tracks and CDs. And uh, I guess you could call them a transi transitional... Uh, uh, medium for music and they actually weren't that bad and the thing that was great about these was you could record on them rather easy and you could if you had a good deck uh, they actually sound pretty good this is an unopened uh, 10 minute professional high bias cassette I just went and looked through my my um, collection real quick and if I remember right the high bias ones had and I'm not going to open this but see how this, these have these holes in the top well like this one here see how the tabs are not punched out that's how you disable the record on them and like this one I could record on. There's some fingers up in here that feel, that ride on the top and feel if these are punched out or not. And if they're punched out, it won't let you record. Now, of course, you just put a piece of tape over it and you could record on it, right? Uh, but I believe the high bias ones had an extra hole that the... Um, if the cassette deck was high bias capable, 
that it would automatically adjust the bias based on the, the holes. Now the bias is the level of the tone when you record and I'm not going to get into that. If it fascinates you go and read about it. This is all stuff that's coming back to me that I haven't even thought about in 20 years. Um, See, so yeah, I noticed that unopened blank cassettes, it, you know, they quit making them. At some point, we're selling for a bunch of money on eBay. So anyway, let's check some of these out. We got Def Leppard Pyromania. We got a BMG Snippet Sampler. I'm sure that would go over real well with the copyright people. And we have Cynthia Gale Narration Reel. Now... Before MP3s and all that, if you were were doing a demo or something and you wanted to send it out to your friends, you'd make you'd mass record cassettes and send them out. So I think this is this is probably what this is. This is probably some girl's demo that she would send out uh, to do voiceovers. So you want to put it in there. We'll rewind it. Okay, we heard it stop. What did I just get sidetracked into some old retro dino? No, don't want to do that. Let's see what you got to say here, Cynthia. Your clothes make a statement about you. What you wear says what you think of yourself. I'll be back with some tips on how to stay in style on a limited wardrobe. The in-style today is your own style. Before you shop, think about your lifestyle. What makes you comfortable? Build your success look around the 10 basics. A smart suit, a white blouse, pattern top and skirt that can be worn together or separately with tailored trousers or your suit skirt, a cardigan sweater or soft jacket, a great blazer, a knit top. With IBM, notice the higher density of the reproduction, how the blacks are blacker, and the white areas of the page cleaner. Here you see the sharp definition along the edges of the illustration adding to the overall quality of the copy. Our objective in this section is to instruct you on how to install, operate, and set up specific user parameters to keep the NEFAX 14 operating at peak efficiency. Carefully unpack and place the NEFAX 14 on a flat surface. Check the contents of the carton. It should contain the following items. The NEFAX 14 facsimile transceiver, modular telephone cord, power cord, operation manual. I want you to think clean, pure thoughts. I want you to think Hinkley and Schmidt water, the clean drink. Clean of chlorine, clean of salt. So clean, it's cleaner than the U.S. government's definition of clean. Clean water, clean conscience, clean living. Hinkley and Schmidt, since 1888, in a glass by itself. The difference between winning and losing is desire. It's pretty bad when you can't really identify the water sound because of the waterfall hiss coming out of the circuitry. Uh, and this is really bad. Somewhere around here I have a Tascam professional broadcast grade cassette player. I'll have to dig that out one of these days. I think the belts are dried out. All right. See if we could get some photograph in there. I...
Yeah, queuing something up wasn't just as e wasn't as easy as just pushing the back button. You had to actually find it. We're getting close. You can tell that's been played a lot. All right. Let's see what else we got here. The other kind of weak spot of cassettes was that a magnet will, magnet will destroy them. If I take and I set this on top of this, forget it, it's gone. It sounds like it's already pretty gone anyway. All right, BMG sampler, what do we see here? saying, hey, aren't you afraid of an audit? And I mean, it will be so obvious that because we raised a stink, I mean, it will, I, I, will, I will probably get more publicity off of an audit than I could ever hope to buy if I paid cash for it, buying billboards or spots on television. Explain what happened back in March of 89 at your headquarters there in La Quinta in Southern California, Bob. This guy, okay, I must have recorded over this. This is a, was a talk, a local talk show host Local, local talk show in the 90s by a guy named Warren Duffy. And this guy was ahead. This guy produced the Beach Boys. This guy was the, the uh, backbone of a local radio, rock radio station called KMET that was a rock station back in the 70s and early 80s. This was a cassette that I recorded over. Boy, that's I haven't heard this guy's voice in, probably since 94. Now, the headquarters at that time, Warren, we were actually in Irvine, California. We've moved our headquarters since that time out here to La Quinta area, but they were in... Listen to this line right here. Boy, does this date this. Just listen to this. Thanks, Duffy. It's nice to be back on your show. The last time you were on, you offered our listeners a videotape that you have recreated the, the invasion of your offices. Are you still offering that video, Bob? Yes, we are. And uh, at any time that you think convenient, we'll give them a telephone number. They can call us. It's a free video to depict the, the, the 
situation that we went through, Duffy. Yeah. And I think we've sent one to you already, but uh, any of your listeners are welcome to call us. And you get a, a real idea of how heavy-handed the IRS can be. I mean, imagine, here's, the arm, uh, here's an officer, the CEO of a business in La Quinta, which is... Video cassette, telephone number, w what is that? I gotta make it a point to go through a bunch of my old cassettes. I got hundreds of them. And try and get the good stuff ripped to MP3 before these things go bad. But I was continuing to go through this. And granted, this is 20 years ago. Or, yeah, about probably about 20 years ago. But listen to this intro. Now keep in mind the California drought right now, right? Listen to this intro to this, this, uh, I have no idea what the date was. Hi there, Southern California. Hope you had a sensational weekend. Warren Duffy here, live from L.A. for another week, ready to get underway in three minutes here on KKLA. And boy, this is going to be a great program tonight, if I do say so myself, and I think I just did. Now, having said that, though, there is no... Well, let me couch it by saying there is very little possibility that this storm could move from its present direction and head in here to Southern California. It's if you missed the news on Friday, we've got reports filtering in now that are saying the weather is going to be very freaky this winter. This could be a record-setting El Nino year. We could be shaping up for the worst rains, the worst winter storms in 50 years. I spent the morning doing flood control work in my garden, getting stuff planted to hold back the floods if they go this way. That's thinking ahead, friends. And let me tell you, we got a lot ahead of us tonight here on Live from L.A. Three gate guests, a ton of news stories to cover, a lot of information to pass along, stuff the mainstream media isn't telling you about. Stand by. Live from L.A., we're, we're teeing it up and kicking it off for the next four hours here on KKLA. What do you think of the... We could probably pin the date down with this right here. Till we get back here to Southern California again. Dow dropped 247 points on Friday. What would happen today? Would it go up or would it continue the nosedive? And it was their, their buying late in the session that drove the Dow up 100 points in the last two hours. September, the Fed will meet again, and it, it could be at the September meet. They're going to meet tomorrow, but it doesn't look like there's going to be an interest rate increase tomorrow. But he has now made it to fifth. Kurt Busch is your new leader. Kevin Harvick to second. Matt Kenseth to third. Martin Truex to fourth. Just outside the top 10, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is 12th. Let's go to Jamie. This is a Samsung. Boy, does it have a nice high dynamic range, uh, contrasty picture. Beautiful. The tuner is very dirty. Coming from the rotor. So, Gray Guys, his crew chief, opted to put some tape on the rotor. So, Larry, as our crew chief, explain what exactly that does and how it's going to help Junior. Well, I get a feeling, Jamie, where they actually put the tape was on the front end opening to where the... Let's uh, try the uh, cassette deck one. Let them have their fun. You and I will revisit them soon enough. Do you want to come and play? Game of War. Play for free now. It's kind of... It's kind of dim. How do you adjust it? It's like a match made in heaven. Like bacon and eggs. Oh, look. Bacon and eggs. The new banana bread French toast slam. Denny's, welcome to America's Diner. Ted's morning was not going well. And when his battery light lit up, it went from bad to worse. But a quick pit stop to AutoZone, where they checked out for free, and Ted and his car were back to peak performance. But a battery light doesn't have anything to do with the battery. It has to do with the charging system not working. False advertising.
Those are the guts that stand apart. Join a league all their own. I wonder how you adjust the uh, brightness and contrast and color and all that on here. Uh, it's got a remote sensor. I wonder if it's remote only because I don't see anything. It's a really good picture. It's just a little bit on the dark side. It could be a little bit brighter.